and shall be exercised only in accordance with this Constitution. The people may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. End of quote. We are today invo invoking these provisions of our Constitution 2010 to launch a massive, peaceful, and I repeat, peaceful movement of defiance against an illegitimate, reckless, heartless, incompetent Kenya Kwanzaa regime. We launch the MDD because Kenya Kwanzaa is illegitimate and therefore incapable of listening to the cries of our people. The people are now taking back all their delegated powers. It is now, it is now action time. Having consulted the public widely and extensively, today we give the much-awaited directions, subject to the constitutional provisions that give the people the power and the right to peaceably and an unarmed assemble, demonstrate, and picket, we are calling upon our supporters to action. Ladies and gentlemen, I think as we speak, the entire nation has been waiting to hear from our leader, the people's president, a man who has fought for our democracy, the champion of devolution, and a man who in the 90s was detained fighting for a multi-party democracy. A man who, while fighting for the second liberation of this country, his opponent, who was declared president by Chebukati illegitimately, was fighting to sustain the YK-92 movement. You do recall, ladies and gentlemen, YK had young Kenyans who fought for high deals, higher deals. On the other side, Raila Molo Dinga led the liberation movement that fought for higher ideals of multi-party democracy, of devolution, and the fruits of freedom we enjoy today. At this hour of Atman burial, it is my pleasure to invite this great Democrat, our leader, the People's President, to speak to the nation. You Fellow Kenyans, starting today and now, hereby declare the official start of a countrywide mass action for the following reasons. Number one, the high cost of living in Kenya, which is as a result of massive looting of the public resources and heartless withdrawal of subsidies to food, fuel, and education by the Kenya Kwanda regime in the middle of a drought and economic meltdown. To lower the cost of living and to restore the dignity of our people, Mr. Ruto must go.
two, the overtaxation by this illegitimate regime is killing our businesses, impoverishing families, and damaging opportunities for investment. This must immediately stop for Kenya to economically recover. For this reason, Mr. Ruto must go. Three, three, the importation of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, by Ruto and company is a scheme to destroy the country's food basket and to make Kenyan slaves to the American nationals while enriching his cronies. For this reason, Ruto must go. The attempt by Kenya Kwanza regime to single-handedly reconstitute the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission by forming a William Ruto Electoral Commission is a reckless misadventure that is intended to wreck the, this country. The IBC selection panel is a puppet of Ruto, of Mr. Ruto clique that intends to create seven Chebukatis who will aim, who will aid he, him in steering the 2027 general elections. For this reason, Ruta must go. Six, the victimization of commissioners Masit, Chereira, Nyangaya, and Wanderi for standing with the truth against Chebukati and his cabal in an electoral theft and their removal from office through a kangaroo, a kangaroo tribunal was actually meant to create a, a William Ruto IBC. For this reason, Ruto must go. Seven, the contempt with which the Supreme Court treated the Azimio one Kenya presidential petition is the epitome of judiciary, the judicial thuggery. From the judge's subservient and unprofessional physically biased remarks and the recent public dalliance with Ruto, the Supreme Court judges confirm Ruto's complete judicial capture. For this reason, Ruto must go. Eight. Eight. The accumulation of all powers, legislative, executive, and judiciary by Ruto, the perfect definition of tyranny and dictatorship. Ruto is buying the legislature, influencing the Supreme Court, and the sole executive decision maker. This is a dangerous dictator that must not be allowed even a single extra minute in public office. For this reason, Ruto must go. Nine. In the history of Kenya, it is the first time our country is facing a two-tribe regime. An exclusive one-tribe regime in Rwanda resulted to genocide. In 2007-08, the security forces were unable to control the violence in the Rift Valley simply because of a one-sided security force. Kenya Kwanzaa is a one-sided illegitimate regime that is planting seeds of ethnic hegemony for a future genocide in Kenya. Only two communities are getting appointed to public uh, service. For this reason, Russo must be.
10, the creation of unnecessary and unconstitutional offices in the public service, including those of their spouses, daughters, and sons at the expense of an already overburdened public and an empty exchequer. It's a cruel ploy by Ruto to reward his cronies as he continues to loot the public resources through proxies. For this reason, Ruto must go. Eleven, Kenya has experienced unparalleled religious harmony, which is the envy of the world. The attempt by Ruto to divide this country along religious and sectarian lines must stop. For this reason, Russo must go. Twelve, the tribalization and ethnicization of our civil service by this illegitimate regime through targeted sacking and firing of legitimate public appointments is a career killer and a recipe for future genocide. For this reason, Thirteen, even though the case was stopped, the murder of the ICC witnesses did not and cannot relieve anyone of responsibility for crimes against humanity. We know only too well what Ruto is capable of doing. Kenyans will never forget the painful murder of Yebe, Gicheru, and the burning of innocent children and women in a church in, in, in Kiamba. <laughs> Neither will we forget the deaths of Msando, Jacob Juma, Kenei, and others. For this reason, <laughs> 14, the grabbing of public land in Rwai, section of Ngong Forest, Part of Eldred Municipality, part of Langata Primary, Mr. Muteshi's farm, and many other public utilities can no longer be tolerated by Kenyans. And for this reason, Ruto must go! Ruto must go! Ruto must go! 15. According to the public records, Mr. Gachagua, who was the District Officer 1, in Laikipia was summary, summarily dismissed from office on the 30th of July, 1997, for gross misconduct, desertion of duty, and reported mismanagement of relief food for Laikipia district. This is a clear show of unsuitability and incompetency. No wonder Gachago has impudently alluded that Kenya is a company with shareholders whose resources are distributed discriminately on the basis of shares. Today, we begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we indeed are the true shareholders of, in this country. <laughs> All the people of Kenya are collectively shareholders in our country. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we understand that a caring government cannot emerge from an illegitimate regime like Kenya Kwanza. Begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we have no more patience with an illegitimate regime that is too mean-spirited and too incompetent to deploy resources for an all-out all war on poverty and suffering of our people. We have no more patience for the illegitimate regime of hypocrites and fake humanitarianism. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we can't keep living on false promises. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua our clear understanding that when we keep taking painkillers long enough, they will cease killing the pain. 
And that, that is when the real pain will begin. Kenya is ripe for a people's movement for the defense of democracy. And the process begins today, here and now. Yes. Ruto must go. We launch a campaign of defense of peaceful picketing, peaceful protests, boycotts, strikes, disobedience, peaceful petitions, peaceful sittings, and peaceful demonstrations, and it begins today and now. We also urge the victims of retrogressive policies of this illegitimate regime, including workers, doctors, teachers, nurses, lecturers, students, and the business community to join this political revolution and movement for change. We are stronger together. As your leaders, we commit to fight, resist, and defy this legitimate regime side by side with you until our voices are heard and respected. We recognize that only through hardship and sacrifice can our cries be heard and acted on. We will be with you to the bitter end. It is action time. Let us all come out, whether we are, to, uh, we, we are we, wherever we are, to make our voices heard and respected. And after we have done that, that we, wherever we are, in every corner of the country, we shall finally converge in Nairobi. <laughs> Take note that on, on the 20th of March 2023, you have a date with destiny in Nairobi. I repeat. Take note that on 20th March of 2023, we have a date with destiny in Nairobi. <laughs> On that day, our supporters throughout the country shall stage a massive procession in Nairobi for a legitimate and inclusive government. Save that date. We thank you and let the action begin. The movement, the movement for the defense of democracy has now started. Nimesema yale kwa kimombo lakini kwa manufaa ya watu wetu wengine ningependa kusema machache kwa Kiswahili. Kwanza tume toa taarifa mrefu juu ya hali ya taifa letu vilivyo siku ya leo. Tumesema kuna uzuni katika taifa letu. Wa Kenya wengi wanashikia ugumu. Gharama ya maisha imepanda. Wiki mbili iliyopita sisi tulitoa taarifa tukampatia bwana Ruto na serikali yake ilani ya kwamba tungependa kuona baada ya siku 14 gharama ya maisha ikiteremka chini bei ya bidhaa muhimu ikiteremka chini. Tukasema vile vile tumemwambia jamaa asimamishe kuteuliwa kwa wanachama watume ya uchaguzi kabla watu wajeshauriana 
tatu tukasema tungependa ile nyungu pale ambayo matokeo ya kura ilipelekwa ifungulire ili fanyie ukaguzi ijuli ukweli ijulikane wiki mbili imepita na jamaa hawajafanya chochote wamekita na wamekaa ngumu wamekafanya chochote kwa hivyo tumesema wakati sasa imepita kwa hivyo tumesema kuanzia siku ya leo tunaanza sasa kipindi kipya ya ukombozi tunaanza ile chama chetu ya serikali wanaweza kufanya maandamano wanaweza kufanya mgomo wanaweza vile vile kukaa pamoja na vile vile kupeleka kumbukumbu kwa shirika lolote hayo yote yanakubaliwa na sherehe yetu katiba letu vile vile nasema ati uwezo katika jamhuri ya Kenya iko mikononi ya wananchi wa Kenya wananchi wanaweza kutumia hiyo uwezo wao wenyewe au wanaweza kutumia hiyo kupitia kwa viongozi mao wao wenyewe wamechagua sasa kwa sababu bwana Ruto amejaribu kununua viongozi wengine na vile vile amejaribu kununua mahakama sasa ni saa ya wakenya kutumia hiyo uwezo na nguvu kupitia hiyo fungu la katiba yao mkono mwao ili waweze kuleta mabadiliko na tumesema hiyo ndio sisi tutafuata wakenya kuanzia leo watagoma watafanya maandamano watamungana pamoja kwa njia ya kutetea uh, mabadiliko katika taifa letu na haya yote yatakuwa ni njia ya halali Watu wataweza kumgoma na kufanya maandamano wengine wanaweza kwenda kwa vitio vya serikali wanaweza kwenda hata kwa ajili ya nyumba ya, ya serikali ni nyumba ya, 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 nyumba ya, ya taifa ya, ya wananchi wanaweza vile vile ku kuungana uh, pamoja na kukaa uh, pamoja na kugoma wanaweza kugoma wasiende kwa kazi bila wanavyotaka wanaweza kufanya maandamano wanaweza kufanya maandamano huko kote pale wao wako kazi ya serikali ni ya polisi ni kulinda wananchi wakifanya hayo Mradi tu polisi wa juu ya kwamba wananchi watafanya maandamano kazi yao ni kulinda wananchi sio kunyanyasa wananchi. Na sisi vile vile tumesema hatuna uoga wowote. Hatuwezi kutishwa na mtu yeyote. Tutalinda sheria na katiba ya taifa letu dhidi ya wale ambaye walikuwa wamewekwa pale kwa njia ya kibandia. Tuna hakika ya kwamba Ruto na wenzake hawakushinda uchaguzi katika taifa letu. Sisi kama wanazimio tunajua matokeo ya uchaguzi. Sasa kwa sababu jamaa wamekataa ukaguzi wa nyungu ile pale matokeo yalipelekwa wa Kenya wana uwezo na sasa watatumia hiyo uwezo kufanya yale ambayo wanataka. Kwa hivyo tunasema kazi imeanza leo. Wa Kenya sasa wako tayari na wamepewa fursa ya kufanya yale yote ambayo nimesimetaja alafu mwisho tumesema ati tuko na dira na tarehe ishirini na, ya mwezi huu wa machi tarehe ishirini ya mwezi huu wa machi wa Kenya ambao wanafuata azimio na hii 
chama ya kulinda demokrasia katika taifa letu watakuja Nairobi. Ni siku ya Nairobi. Watakuja Nairobi na kutakuwa na maandamano makubwa hapa katika taifa la Nairobi Nairobi kutaka serikali ambayo itaweza kulinda haki eh, yao na, na sheria zao na kuhakikisha kwamba wakae wakanya wote wanapata yale ambayo wanataka. Kikakisha kwamba gharama ya maisha itarudi chini. Wakenya bani wagonjwa wataweza kupata matibabu kwa njia sawa sawa. Vile vile wale watoto wetu ambao wanataka kusoma watapata fursa ya kusoma bila tulivaahidia. Nimesema vile vile wale ambao wanatafuta kazi watapata kazi. Wale wa mama ambaye ni wajane hawana mabwana na wana watoto watapata msaada kwa serikali maskini tuliwaahidi ati watapata alafu sita hiyo vile vile itakweku kwa hiyo tunasaidiwa sisi zote kama wanaazimio tunasimama imara pamoja nimeleta vile vile salamu kwa wakenya wote kutoka kwa rais mtaafu uhuru kinyata sisi hatutaki kuona kama wakenya wanateseka wanashika wako chaguliwa kwa njia halali sasa kwa hivyo haya yote tumesema azimio iko mbele sasa movement for uh, for defense of democracy inaanza kufanya kazi kwa njia siku ya leo asanteni sana Sasa turuhusu vinara